Um, although I have been pierced 22 times, I currently only have 15 piercings. So I want to go ahead and tell you all about them. I want to give you an idea of when I got them done and the pain level. So the first one. First one that I got was the typical one that mostly everybody's gotten when they were kids. It's one of these down here. And this one, was it this one or was it this one? This one on this side. Um, they kind of pierced it a little too low. I, I'm not even sure you can see this, but they kind of pierced it a little too low and it kind of drapes down now if I'm wearing like heavy earrings. Um, I had those two done until like before I could remember. I was probably under one or maybe one or something, but I, I don't remember getting it done. I just remember it always being there. Um, when I got older, decided to get my belly button done. I was 15 when I got it done, and it took a lot of convincing from my mom, <laughs> let's just say. And she never warmed up to it up to this day. She's still not a fan. Um, but yeah, I got that done. Let me show you. I've been eating like crazy, so, you know. Um, after that, I got the other ones done. Oh, I didn't tell you the pain level. Sorry. <laughs> um, I don't. I tell you, I don't remember the first two I got. But for the belly button ring, on a scale of like one to ten, I would say it was about a five. It wasn't painful. I was continuously getting it done with like no problem. Um, when it after I got that done, I got um, these over here done, like next to the ones that I got when I was a baby. And pain level was like a two, if that. Um, hardly felt anything. Um, after I did that one, um, I got another one really close to the same ones that I got done. Um, the reason I got it done was to try and mask this one that was dra draping so low. Um, it didn't really work out the way I planned it, but yeah, it's still it still did the job. So at this point I have six earrings in my ear and one in my belly button. Um, after that, when you start getting bored with something, you want to venture out and get something else, right? So I got, no, not that one. I got up here done. And I only got one just to see how it was and on a pain level of like one to 10, I would give it like a seven. It was, it was painful when I got it done and then the pain subsided, but it started hurting a lot more afterwards, um, especially when I was like sleeping and stuff. It started to hurt more. This took about three months to heal, I would say. Yeah, it took about three, three to four months for it to completely heal and after that, I went and I got one done on this side. That one took forever to heal. It was very painful for maybe a month or two months, a month and a half or two months. I couldn't take it anymore, I took it out. So that's one of the piercings I got that I no longer have. Um, I missed it, so about two weeks later, I went back to get it done at the same place they just moved it a little bit to one side and they pierced it again. And that one actually worked out very well. Pain level, about a six or seven. And that took maybe three months for it to completely heal. And these, those things here, um, I got one done at a time. Um, on a pain level of one to 10, I would give it maybe a six or seven too on initial piercing, on the initial piercing, but I got I got this done, I think this side done first. This was very, very, very painful to sleep on. It was very painful. So that's really where most of the pain came from, not from the initial piercing, but like the weeks and months after that. This I would say took maybe about two months for it to completely heal when that was healed. Although I did go through that pain and trouble sleeping, I still went and got this side done because I thought it was pretty and I don't care. 
After that, I think I got this one done. This was like a few years later. I should have looked up the name of it. I'm probably gonna put it on the screen or something. But yeah, I got this done. I got this done like a few years later. Um, on a pain level of one to 10, I'd give it about an eight and a half or a nine. This is painful. I got one side done first and then the other, by the way. Like this one done like a few months after this one. Painful, painful, painful. I was not expecting that much pain. It hurts. It hurt to sleep on it for like up to a year. Like it was painful. And the only reason I got this side done after I got this side done is because I wanted both sides to match. If I had to do it over again, I'd probably not do it because of all the piercings, I really and truly didn't think that would hurt so much. It hurts when I got it done. It hurt when I was sleeping on it. It just hurt. I got my hips done. That was like a few, a few years ago. Um, instead of getting the dermal, I got the surface ones. I did a lot of research on it. At that time, I know the dermal was very popular. It wasn't so much as the surface. Surface was just like getting old and people weren't really getting that much because the dermal was like the end thing. But uh, yeah, I got my hips done. They are no longer pierced anymore, as you can see, but you can still see the scars. After I got them done, I decided that I wanted the dermal. I wanted to try and see what the dermal was like. So I had them in for maybe like three weeks and then I went to get the dermal done. They all rejected. <laughs> the surface ones went first. I just took them out and they closed up and I just kept in the dermal. I had the dermal in for maybe like two, three months, but it caused so much pain, guys. If I knew it was rejecting it, I just was in denial. I was like, no, I'm not letting it go. I love you so much. But one day, without sounding too graphic, it got caught on one of my clothing and it kind of just yanked itself out. And as soon as it came out, all the pain went away. Pain level on a scale of one to 10 for getting my hips done was a 15. <laughs> I've never actually given birth before, but I'm pretty sure the pain is somewhere close to that. I mean, it hurts. They are like digging that needle into you and you're feeling it. And if you already don't have that much fat in that area, like you tend to feel it a little more. So yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. The next one that I got was my nose done. <laughs> I got my nose done. In level, a one to 10, I'd give it like a two. There was a lot of pressure when they're putting it in, so you can probably mistake that for pain, but it wasn't painful. It was only about a two. Uh, the belly button that I got done when I was 15, um, after a few years, it started to slowly like, gosh, without sounding graphic, it started to slowly like come down, and it kind of ripped my skin and it fell off. So since I still love belly button rings so much, I had to get it redone. So that is another piercing I had and then got rid of. Um, I got it again. <laughs> so yeah, I had to get that done over again. And the last time I was pierced was the, this one. And this was done last year. So it's been a year, exactly a year actually, that I had this done. Um, pain level 1 to 10, I would give it maybe about a 5 or 6. It wasn't that painful. Just like the nose, it was more pressure than it actually was pain. It just felt weird. And so yeah, so overall, yes, I've been pierced 22 times, but I currently only have 15 piercings and I am looking for more. If you have any questions regarding these piercings and their pain levels, if I missed anything, because I know I'm talking pretty fast, but I just don't want these videos to be too long, just leave a question in the, the comment section below and I will definitely reply. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye guys!